Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another sweet Tinkercad lesson. Today, my friends, we are going to make a top fuel dragster in Tinkercad. So let's get cracking. Step one, of course, is to click that create new design button. Once in, let's name it dragster and let's put our initials after it so that we don't lose it. We are going to make this sweet little dragster by going to the all shapes and going to page number six. These pages sometimes change, but I'm going to tell you that six is a good place to start out trying to find it. When you get to six, we are going to use the tapered square for our dragster. Now, if you've never seen a dragster, we are trying to make this little critter right here as fast as we can, yet also giving you the ability to make it awesome. Start by typing your numbers in. We are going to go 100 high and press enter. Give it time to draw. It does take a moment. And then we're going to make the back 16 and 16. To make it look more like these dragsters, I'll show them to you again. We are going to lay it on its side. Remember, we can zoom out just a little bit so we can see that corner. And then when you rotate, if you stay close to the shape, it just snaps to those sweet little tick marks. Press the letter D and you can drop it to the ground. We want to raise it up off the ground just a little, so let's do the five millimeter nudge. Hold down control and tap that up arrow twice so that it's raised off the ground. This also lets us change our slope a little, so now let's change it a few degrees so that it slopes even more downward and actually appears pretty straight. You don't need to be perfect, but we can try and be as close as we can. You can see that is not perfectly straight, but it will be sloped enough that it won't raise off the ground if it was ever actually racing. I'm going to use the angle view so I can come back here, and then I'm going to nudge it to the middle of my project just a little, and then finally go back to the one millimeter nudge. If we look back at our drag search, notice they have a place to sit and a roll cage. Let's build that really quick by bringing out the hole from the basic shapes. Just set it on the ground, grab the two items, select them, and let's line them up with their centers and the back edge. That moved it all to the middle, but that's all right. I'll just grab it and nudge it across. I held the button down and that put it in place. I'm gonna take this hole and I'm gonna stretch it out. See that little black handle in there? I'm gonna make it 40 in. So I just stretch it a little and I type 40. And let's do one last align so that they're aligned in the middle. And then I'm gonna raise the seating area up by doing control up. And then I'm gonna make it even taller so it cuts out. So that's gonna be where the person sits in my dragster with those two pieces in place. Let's group them and boom, we have started to create our awesome dragster. You can choose to make these as real as you want. I'm gonna choose to just have fun with it. So right now I'm bringing out a wheel. Uh, since it is a wheel, I'm gonna make it super round. Since it's a dragster wheel, I'm gonna give it a bevel of two. And when I press enter, you'll see that starts to look a bit like a rounded wheel. I'm gonna hold down shift and I'm gonna stretch it out until it's at least uh, 35, 36 but I'm gonna make it thinner. So that's what my dragster wheel is gonna look like. I'm gonna make it black. Let's stand it up on its side, remembering that if you stay close to the shape, it's easy to use those tick marks. And when you press D, it drops it to ground level. Let's bring it over to my dragster. And you know what, that is not large enough. So I'm gonna hold down shift and I'm going to stretch it up until it's the right size for my dragster. That looks more appropriate, and I'm just gonna make it a little bit thinner. And then I'm gonna do Control D and make its copy move to the other side. And then let's nudge it out just a little so that there's a gap between the wheel and the vehicle. And let's hide the body and let's put an axle on this. I'm gonna press W for work plane and set it to the side of one of my tires. And that way, when I bring out my cylinder, it lands right in that spot. I can stretch it across so that it'll touch, but then I'm also gonna shrink it. And I'll do that from this angle right here. I'm gonna hold shift, and I'm gonna take it down to about size 10. The easiest way to do that is hold shift and stretch a little 
and then press enter. I'm gonna set my work plane back to the ground. I'm gonna do that one more time just cause something doesn't look quite right. This one's good, and then it already was good this way. And now I can connect them together, and I've got my back axle assembly. Let's group it, let's do show all, and you can see that it cuts through. We're gonna fix that by clicking the centerpiece, and we ungroup it. So now I'm gonna raise the hole up just a couple clicks, control up, up, so it looks a little more realistic, even though it's not gonna be realistic. And now when I regroup the body and the wheels together, it'll cut out that area, and we'll have the better place where we're gonna put our seat. That's looking pretty sweet. Let's take care of our front wheels super quick by moving down to those all shapes and going to page number three. That's where you'll find the amazing wheel. We're going to bring out this wheel right here. We need to shrink it down. We're going to do that by holding shift and shrinking any corner. And then I know that my front here is 10. So let's just type 13 for the size of this wheel. You can play around with the different styles. Have fun, see what you think is cool. Be patient as you wait for it to draw because it does take a moment. And then make sure you look at it from one of the corner angles so that you can find the rotation that is correct for the front of your vehicle. And I'm going to do fit view to that selection so it even gets closer. So there's my rotation. And once again, if I stay close, I can stand it up. And I'm going to make my wheels a bright yellow just because I think that's kind of crazy and funky. Go back to home view. And now I can use the arrow keys to nudge them into place. If you want it to nudge a little faster, you can switch your grid to 5. Don't forget to press D to drop it to the correct height. And then get it in place where you think it should be. I'm going to fit view to that selection again. And I'm going to decide that my wheels need to be quite a bit larger. So this time I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to just stretch straight up until I'm happy. Let's zoom back out to the whole project and take a peek. I think that's acceptable, although the front wheel on the vehicles are usually pretty small. So I'm going to stretch it somewhere, and then I'm going to just type a number so that they're the same on both sides. Control D to duplicate, take its partner and nudge it to the other side, and then also I'm going to use the very cool flip tool so that it's flipped the other way just in case they look different from the inside and outside, now they match. Let's zoom into those shapes using fit view to selection. Press W for your work plane, and let's draw the cool little axle. I'm going to go back to the basic shapes, and I'm just going to bring out the cylinder, and we're going to draw it across. Remember, you can make this way more precise than me. I'm just giving you the start so then you can make it totally epic. Zoom out a little bit so I can see those handles. Hold down shift, and let's shrink it way down until we've got a size of axle that'll be appropriate to fit in the little holes on. Whoops. Control Z. Uh, don't forget to set your grid back to one. Uh, that's why mine was disappearing, was when you count by fives, it shrinks pretty crazy. So now I'm counting by ones, shrinking down, and it looks like it's going to be a size four that fits in that hole. If I hold down shift and select both of those, I can then do a line, and I want to align it this way so it's centered, and I want it in the middle of this direction, and I want that one too. So now it's totally where I want it. I'm going to press W for work plane to shut that off. Click on my cool little shape and stretch it across so that it comes all the way out on both sides. Remember it is centered, which is nice and nifty. Uh, I want to make sure it's attached, so I'm going to hold down Alt-Shift. And when you do Alt-Shift, it stretches in every direction around its middle. So now I'm sure it is connected. And then I can just nudge it in until it's at the exact size that I want on both sides. I am going to group all three of those by holding down shift and selecting them. And then I'm just going to nudge them back into the vehicle until they're where I want them. And then I'm going to zoom out to the whole project. And I'm going to quickly align them using this button right here so they're centered. Let's real quickly add a seat to our project. Press W, click on the inside of your shape, and bring out a cube. 
When you bring the cube in, make sure you shrink it to the correct width. You can bring it up as high as you think is appropriate for the seat that you want. Stretch it up nice and tall, and then do Control D to make another one. Bring it up higher, but turn it into a hole. Here comes that sweet Alt Shift again. If you take it from the 13 or whatever yours is and just shrink it a couple, and then lift it back up, You'll see that is where it's going to create the area for the person to sit. Take your larger one and make it rounded by giving it like a two radius. Notice I just moved it a little and then I typed the number two. And then click on that hole and stretch it so that it's going to cut out the exact seat that you want. So I'm just raising it up. Let's zoom in so we're closer to where the selection is. So you can be really happy. If you hold Alt Shift, Remember, this nudges out in both directions at the same time, so you can make sure that you're happy. I'm going to move that forward a couple clicks, and then I'm going to just push it down to where I want the seating area to start. And when you group those two pieces, so I'm just touching both of them, note it says two shapes and group, and poof, I have got the seating area for the gentleman that's, or lady that's going to ride in my dragster. You can take time to add a cool steering wheel. Once you've got it grouped, you can change and adjust that however you want to see fit. I'm going to real quickly add a roll cage. If you want, you can add a steering wheel. My roll cage is going to be from the awesome featured area, and it is the bent pipe. When you bring the bent pipe out, I'm going to leave it just in its natural state. And then I know that I want to make it 180 degrees. So you'll see it'll wrap all the way around. And then I need to stand it up, which I'm going to do by just getting here and staying close to these lines so that I can stand it straight up. Now I need this to be a lot thinner. I'm going to take the outer pipe width and I'm going to make it four and press enter. The wall thickness will be way out of whack because of how the numbers are different, but that's fine. I can just leave it the way it is. You can then change the lead in pipe, which is this piece right here. I'm going to make mine shorter. I think I'll be good if I do five for both of these. So I'm going to just type five and press enter. And you can see right there, I've already got a nifty roll cage that I can then lift up, put in place, tilt if I need. Uh, you can hide it inside the walls. So if I even change this a little smaller, it'll fit better. So I'm going to change it to 2.5 and press enter. And now I can grab this and rotate it so it's perfect. If I do control D, I've got a clone of it. I'm going to take the clone and nudge it a little bit over. But then more importantly, I'm going to flip it in the left right direction. See this arrow up here? So it's got the exact right angle for my front of my design and fits right in place just like the other one. You can add a bar that goes across to protect them. You can do anything you want like that. I'm going to put cool flames out the back of my sweet little dragster. You, of course, could make an engine, but I'm just having fun, and I'm going to go to the all. And I'm going to go all the way to number 17. So just click this thing like crazy till you get to number 17. And then on 17, you will find the Rock Mountain. Press W to get to the back of your dragster. Bring out the Rock Mountain. You'll notice it is huge and massive. I'm going to scroll out to full view so I can see it better. And this rock mountain is going to be my flames because I'm going to make it a bright orange. I'm going to hold down shift and shrink it. And then I'm going to just pull it to that center area. And if you turn it and stretch it out, it actually kind of looks like flames coming out of your sweet little dragster tilted it a little bit of an angle because they seem to always have the flames blasting up. I'm going to do control D to have one orange and I'm going to have another one right beside it that's red and I'm going to take them and adjust them just a little bit so they're coming at two different colors or two different angles. And then I'm going to take those two bits of flame and I'm going to look from above so I'm touching both of them and I'm going to do control D again. This can slow your computer down, but the effect is so cool, it is pretty darn worth it. 
I'm going to do flips so I'm sure that they're at the right angle. You can see there is the side-to-side -side flip, so it's poking out the other way. And let's look at that from the side. We'll hit W for work plane, give it time to render, and I've got sweet flames coming out the back of my dragster. All right, friends, so you can see that I dropped a little HL Mod Tech on both sides using the text option. And then I'm just going to pick a number of degrees that I think is perfect for my shape. And I'm going to do that for the other side as well, trying to keep them close to the same. Remember, this is just for fun. And then if you click on your shape and have the blue background, you can do that left arrow to nudge it in so that it sticks out the exact amount that you want. And then, of course, when you group everything, don't forget to turn on your multicolor so it's one awesome piece. So there's my group. Wait for it to finish grouping. And when it finally does, hit that multicolor to bring back all your cool creations. Friends, if you are in my class, make sure you turn in a screenshot of your cool one. If, if you're out on the internet and you want to share, make sure you share it with us at HLMontech on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. You can also just add a comment at HLMontech.com. So friends, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't hit that subscribe yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.